Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will show you how you can transform your SharePoint lists into Dataverse tables and Copilot enabled apps in a single experience. Copilot will assist us in our table creation experience by recommending column types, column names, descriptions, and a lot more. So let's check it out in action. What do we need to build an enterprise app? We are in the age of AI. We need powerful built-in AI capabilities and analytics. We need advanced business logic and eventing. Built-in data modeling capabilities allow us to work with any type of data. Deep integration capabilities with other areas of Microsoft 365. It should be as easy as Excel where I can simply connect to my enterprise data. And with Copilot's assistance, I should be able to build this application quickly. All of this with enterprise grade security and the ability for the platform to scale. And Dataverse is the answer to all of those capabilities. From sophisticated security, to the ability to build complex logic, to storing data in various forms, relational, non-relational, rich data types, and integration capabilities. From a capacity perspective, Dataverse has no limits. From a SharePoint perspective, we do have the ability to store up to 30 million records. However, you will need to plan for performance. You would have come across the view threshold limit or the limits in the number of complex type columns that you can create and more. Dataverse is a relational database. SharePoint is not. Dataverse offers a diverse set of rich data types. It comes with robust security options that can meet your complex security requirements. Dataverse being the data layer of the Power Platform offers a lot of benefits. One of the examples is the ability for Power App to handle large volumes of data for Dataverse, which offers the highest flexibility from a delegation perspective. Dataverse being solution aware, having native backup facility, it's already built for mobile offline. We are not limited to the type of applications we can build. We can build Canvas apps, model-driven apps, power pages, business rules, and so much more that Dataverse has to offer. I have a SharePoint list called Projects that has different types of columns, project title, single line of text, Description, multi-line, status, type choice, start date and end date, which are date type columns. Now let's see how we can import this list into a table in Dataverse by taking the assistance of Copilot. In Power Apps, we have two options to do this. One option is we can go to tables, and here is the new create with SharePoint list feature. If I select this, I can enter my SharePoint site, pick my SharePoint list and go through the process of importing it as a table. The other option is if we go to the home screen and start with data, we have an option create with SharePoint list. Here as well, it will import the list data into a Dataverse table, but it will also create a Canvas app for us. I'll pick my SharePoint site. I'll pick my list that I would like to import. Click Next. Copilot starts weaving its magic. It provides a preview of my table. It recommends a name for my table which I can edit 
and change. It also plugs in a description for us. In this case, it states that the data is being originated from my SharePoint list. And the primary column that it is mapping to is title. Here is title, which is a column of type single line of text. If I would like to make it a required field, I can do that right here and update. Description, it's a multi-line of text column. Status, smart enough to know that status was a choice column in my SharePoint list. It plugs in the choice values. I can add more. I can also pick a default choice for any new record that gets created. Start date and end date, both are mapped to date fields. Once I am ready, all I have to do now is click create app and the process begins. And here is Canvas Power App. Data is connected to my table called project. If I go to edit data, here is the table and dataverse with the columns, column types, and all the data coming in from SharePoint. And at this point, I have a Canvas app that shows all my projects. I can create new projects. I can edit existing projects. I can delete a project, full CRUD operations. Plus, this is a fully responsive Canvas Power App in action. Now let's level up. I also have another list. These are the tasks for a project. And when a task is created, it is mapped to a specific project by using a lookup column experience. A task can be assigned to a user. Assign to is a person type column in SharePoint, wherein I can pick users from Active Directory. Back to Power Apps, if I go to Tables, and say create from SharePoint list because I would like to import the next list, which is the list of tasks. Connect to my SharePoint site, connect to my task list and click next. Here is the preview of the table that it would be creating. The text columns, the choice columns, date columns, they are being handled fine. But when we talk about the lookup column, if you notice here, Currently, it does not support the lookup column, which creates a relationship between two tables in Dataverse. Plus, assigned to is a person type column in SharePoint. It's bringing that data in the form of text. So how would I go about mapping this as a lookup column once again, that looks up to another table in Dataverse, which is the users table. So to perform the action of importing the data from the tasks table, under tables, I will head over to import and select import data. I'll select SharePoint online list, put my SharePoint site URL, plug in my credentials, click next. This will list out all the tables in my SharePoint list. I'm looking out for my list called tasks. I'll select this, shows a preview of the data that it will be importing. This also includes all the internal columns in SharePoint. I'll click next. And now I land in Power Query where I can perform data transformations. From my task list, I am only interested in importing these seven columns. So the first step I'll take here is click choose columns, remove select all and pick the columns that I would be interested in importing. Here's project lookup and assigned to is the person type column. Click OK. So this brings in all this information. Project lookup and assigned to, notice they come in the form of a record because they are complex type columns. So I need to take additional steps now to get the information out of those columns. 
So for that, I will add a column, custom column. I'll call it project lookup title. I'll pick project lookup for the formula. And from within this record, go and grab the title column information from my lookup list. I'll click OK. And here is project lookup title. I'll perform similar steps for assign to. Custom column. I'll call this assign to email. For formula, I'll pick assign to. To pick email, capital E, capital M, and then lowercase a i l. I'll click OK. There I have the email addresses. Project lookup and assign to. I do not need these columns, so I can right click, remove. Right click, remove. I can even confirm the data types. So title, text, due date, I'll pick date. Now I can click next. Now if I try load this to a new table called tasks, these are the source columns. These are the columns that it will be creating. And these are the data types that I can select. I am still not able to create a true relationship with my project table and also for my assigned to person type column. So in order for me to do that, I'll open a separate tab, go back to tables. I will go and create a new table. I'll pick set advanced properties. So I get the standard table creation dialogue experience. I'll give my table a name. The primary column, the display name for that is set to name. I'll keep it as is. Click save. And this creates a new table called task. Name is where I would like to store the title of the task. I need a date column to store the due date. So due date, date only, save. Description, multi-line. Description, I'll pick text area, save. Priority is a choice column that has three options, low, medium, and high. So priority, data type, choice. I'll click new choice. This will be the name of my choice set low, medium, high. Saved it for my priority column. I'll sync it to priority choices and click save. Same thing for task status. Here are the priority choices. Here are the task status choices. For project lookup, I'll create a new column. I'll call it project lookup. Data type will be lookup and the table that I want to relate this to will be my project table. I'll click save. So here is project lookup. This will list out all my projects. I'll add a new column. I'll call it assigned to. Once again, lookup. And I would like to relate this to my user table. I'll click save. That completes my setup for the task table. If I head back to the previous tab where I have my Power Query ready, I can now pick load to existing table and select my newly created table, which is task. Now this table, if I explore properties and go to advanced, I can see the internal name associated with this table. That's what I will search here. Here is my task table. I can select it. And now I can start performing the mapping. I can auto map. So it will try and map the columns. Name would be coming from the title column in SharePoint. 
I do not see the option for project and for assign to I do see an option. It requires the Azure Active Directory object ID, which I do not have because I only picked the email. For this, we need to create keys in those related tables. Back to Dataverse tables. I'll search for my project table, select this, head over to keys and create a new key. When I'm doing the lookup from SharePoint, I'm mapping it to that title column. So for the key as well, I will try and map it to the title column in my project table. I'll call it title and save. Key created. Back to tables. This time I'll search for the user table, select it, head over to keys. So I'll create a new key. The email is stored in a column called primary email. I'll call the key email, save. Done. I'll head back to my Power Query tab. I'll go back. Hit next. So this refreshes the schema for the task table. This time I have options to map based upon that key for the relationships. Project lookup, I need to give the title. Assign to, I need to give the email. Once again, I'll start with auto map. Project lookup, project lookup title. So I'll select this and assign to the assigned to email address. So I'll use this and that completes my mapping. I'll hit next and I will click publish. And at this point, a process gets initiated, which is called a data flow. If we head to data flows, here is my newly created data flow that's published. And currently a refresh action is taking place. And here are all the tasks that it has imported from the SharePoint list, along with the relationships mapped. My project table. I will say create an app using this table. I'll call it my projects app. Click create. I'll publish this app and play this app. Here it shows all my projects. I can select a specific project. And if I head over to related, here is the related table of tasks. Here are the related tasks for that specific project. All of this data imported into Dataverse from SharePoint. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.